Who in this room knows CPR? If you know CPR, raise your hand. Raise it nice and tall. Okay. If you know CPR and you've actually performed it on someone before, not just the, 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 the fiberglass one, but you've actually done it on a real person, raise your hand. Okay. Now, for those of you who've performed it on a real person, you did it and you were successful. <laughs> raise your hand. Raise your hand. Okay. Good, good, okay. You're nice and close. I'm going with you, sir, okay? All right. Now, now the reason I say that is because I have a heart condition, and my wife likes me to tell people that right up front, okay? So if for any reason tonight during the program I slump and fall over, don't you just sit there going, oh, I bet this is going to be real funny in a minute, okay? Okay? You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> really, Mike, is this a joke? No, it's not, okay? Uh, I actually died two and a half years ago in Butte, Montana. I flatlined, flatlined, beep, that one, okay, right there, flatlined two times, and uh, the, the worst part about it was the week before, I had been at a conference with the guy who wrote the book, 90 Minutes in Heaven. So this guy gets out at this conference, and he tells these stories. He went to 90 minutes in heaven. It took him, it, it took him almost three hours to tell it, so I was a little worried. But anyway, and so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> so he tells this wonderful story of going to heaven and he goes into this big beautiful room and he gets to see family members that had gone on and talk to disciples and Jesus comes and speaks to him and all the time this whole room seems to be moving toward a bright light which is God that he's going to meet and then somehow before he gets there somehow tragically they go oop we got the wrong guy okay so he has this wonderful wonderful story of heaven. When I died, completely different. Okay? Completely different. It was dark. I heard music, but it was Leonard Skinner playing. Okay? <laughs> and then I saw a picture of my mother-in-law. Okay? Which is why I fought my way back twice. Okay? That's, <laughs> that's why. Right there. <sighs> I remember when I was laying on that table, they'd already brought me around for the second time. And the doctor who was in the room said to me, Mr. Williams, you're going to have to stop making my staff laugh because they are trying to keep you alive. To which I responded, ma'am, I'm not trying to make your staff laugh. This is what I do. I'm just trying to stay alive. Now, doctors usually don't correct each other in front of each other. But in the room, right there at that moment, happened to be the lead heart surgeon who had been brought in for me, okay? She turned to the emergency room supervising doctor and corrected her. She said this, listen. She said, let him laugh. It's the only thing that's keeping his blood pressure in check right now because nothing we've done has worked. Laughter is good. A merry heart does good like a medicine. Do you know 42 times in Scripture laughter is mentioned? 42 times. That's 42 times more than the word Trinity is used. <laughs> but if we heard about laughter 42 times more, maybe that ought to be part of our existence. Maybe it ought to be part of our walk. Maybe it ought to be part of our life. And I want to encourage you tonight. I hope you laugh tonight. Maybe you haven't laughed in a long time. I hope you laugh tonight. I hope you find a little joy. I hope you can put away a little bit. Here, here's my job tonight. When I'm back there, I pray this prayer in my heart. God, I will do my best to distract these people of all the junk that's been going on and all the news on Fox and CNN or whatever else or the two of you that watch MSNBC. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who aren't even here tonight. Uh, <laughs> I want to distract you from that. And Heavenly Father, you speak to the people. You speak to your hearts. You build us up tonight. You do what, what we can't do. So that's what I want to do tonight. I just want to laugh and have a little joy with you tonight. A little, little bit of fun. I just...